Here I have OnePlus A5010 and let me show you how to set up the following device. So at the very beginning, turn on your phone by tapping on power key and just hold it for about 2 seconds. And first of all, you have to select the language that you would like to have. So just tap on English, the one that will be automatically added. And as you can see, there is a wide list of languages, so you can pick the one that you would like to have. So in my case, it will be English. And the region will be, for example, UK. And then tap on Start. Here you have to come along with all terms and conditions uh, of OnePlus usage. So just tap on user agreement. It's a long document, but it's worth reading. And also privacy policy. And once you read them, tap on agree. You have to confirm that you accept and understood all the uh, agreement and policy terms. So just tap on agree. And then you can join or the user experiments program. You don't have to, but you can. So actually I'm in. Then decide if you would like to join system stability program. I'm in. And also if you would like to have a better connection with OnePlus. So if you would like to receive some notifications, no thanks this time. And now you have to connect to your mobile network and you have to insert your SIM card I will skip it for now. Now it's time to connect to Wi-Fi. In my case, it's hardreset.info. It's safe and it's connected. So just give your device a few seconds. It is checking all information, all, all updates. And now you can copy the data from your previous phone, but I do not uh, have one, so just don't copy data. And now uh, you have to sync in with your Google account. So you can either enter your email address or phone number. Of course, you can also create a new account if you don't have one. In my case, it's hard to reset. Info one at gmail.com. Once it's typed, just tap on next. Here we have to enter the password, so I will uh, enter it just in a second, but if you would like to see what your password is and what you are typing, just tap on the eye icon. And now just give me a sec to enter mine. So here it is. And as only you enter the password, just tap on next. Now you have to read all the terms of Google services and also the policy. Just open the terms and then select each document. Read it. We truly recommend reading all of them because it's worth to know what you are deciding for. And once you come along with all of them, tap on I agree. Now your device is one more time checking the information and getting account info. Finally, you have to decide if you would like to have a backup to Google Drive. You can, of course, enable it. And you can personalize all of this info. So, for example, you can turn off use location. And once it's set up, just tap on accept. Finally, you can um, add face unlock, but I will skip it right now. Also, you can add fingerprint. And also, you can have an access to assistant with voice match, but not now, no thanks. And of course you can add your your payment data so you can scan your, your card, but I will skip it as well. And now if you would like to change the font size, change wallpaper or add some other email account, you can do it right now. But I'm happy with the settings that we have right now, so I will pick no thanks. 
And finally, you can set some screen off ge gestures so you can open the camera, but I will tap on next and do it later. And finally, you can also screen collaboration. So for example, adaptive mode, just select the one that you would like to have. You can see the changes over here. You can also manually custom color. Uh, maybe I will pick adaptive one, adaptive mode and tap on next. And finally, you can change the font so it can be OnePlus Slate or Roboto. So let me pick the first one. One more time, tap on next. And right now you can start your, using your device. You can set up all the settings that you would like to have. You can change wallpaper or do whatever you want to with this device. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up.